Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. Today, I feel like I've been saying this a lot recently, but we have a very special video. I have some final copies of my special edition at Paper Forests and I have some pre-order goodies to show off. So I would like to present those to you today. And I showed off the book a little in the long video I did about the bookmaking process, but I thought, you know, we'll do it here now that I do have final copies with little corrections made, just so we have a condensed version to show off to people and pre-order goodies. Let's start with paperbacks. I know I have two paperbacks in here because I have to send these off to competitions, but they do have some changes made. It's mostly centering the cover. I think I might have made a change to the inside, but we will see if I remember if I can work out how to get into this. This is painful. And here are the boys, here are the ladies. Let's put one of you down. I'm still in awe of how thick it is every time. Because it's only it's only the short story, so it's about four thousand words longer than the original. But because I've learned so many fun like formatting tricks in the one year since the original got released. It's a little chunkier. But okay, we've made the cover more central now. It's still beautiful, the love of my life. I'm still obsessed with the spine patterns and all that. But here, my baby, my baby, my son. This feels a difference. Let's look at the other ones. I have my other copies up here, which I'm keeping as my personal copies, but they have, they look different. There's things that are not quite right. So yeah, you can tell here that on the new one on the top, the spine is straightened up a bit. So to show off again, on the inside, we have a cyanotype that I made, just had a little something something on the inside cover. So I'm always envious of books with end papers, and I can't do that with the self-publishing resources I have available, at least not for other people to do. I can do it like by myself in my room, but I don't have the resources to make that available to everyone. So I have just a plain black not a plain black page but a black page in the context of the book just like so you don't go straight into the title page and then these little sad types i'm scared of bending her and then in the back we also have the sad type that i put my author bio and photo on here because i love a full color author photo especially when the color scheme matches the rest of the book and this little flip through beautiful and let's show the start of the cover Okay, we have a note in here of all the trigger warnings. I will put those in the description below. I think I mentioned them. There's a lot of videos last year that I made about this book where all the details are the exact same because it's the same book. But it's just got it's got a little it's got a different facelift going on. So if you want some more detail about the story and things like that, that is where you look for the content. I'll link the paper forest playlist below as well. But for now we show off the book. So there is a list of trigger warnings, content warnings. And then our start of a chapter is like this. I wanted to stay true to the design of the first book as much as possible. So with like this ripped paper tree line, but obviously update fonts. I've added drop captures this time and update these designs to match the cover. And I am still so obsessed with this. I, to that point where I don't care how well I do in these competitions. Obviously I'd love, I'd love to be finalists, shortlisted to be in a position where I get quotes from these places about my book but because I'm just so proud of this like this is enough for me I don't need anything else I did this myself and now let's see if the hardcover is as painful to open as well Ow. I think this is hard because with my disability, my fibromyalgia, my hands don't work properly. So when the covers don't come with like that little strip that you can like pull it down and open up, it's a nightmare. How am I supposed to do this with my hands that don't work? <laughs> I feel like it's somehow become more uneven, even though I definitely did centre it more. So now it's at the point where I can't tell if this is an Ingram issue or if like the dust jacket's not folded properly or something. Because like, I 
Like it was slightly off center before and now I've corrected it to the template and now it's somehow even more off center in the opposite direction. And there's just, how, why? Okay, moving on. So here, here's my beautiful sun. Even if this is very wonky, very wonky. This somehow feels thinner. It's not, it just feels like it is for some reason. I guess it's just a crisp copy. Let's just fully skin it. So here we have description. Then on this side we have, again, a full colour of the photo. Very nice, very cute, very fun. Let's open up all the way this side. I love, I still love this. And I gushed about this in the process video for making this book, but it's still the pride, the joy of, I did this. I'm allowed to be feral about my, my progress, my achievements, you know? And the change that I made between this now version and the other one, other than somehow making the cover worse, is that I removed all the text that was on this, like beneath the jacket, the case laminate, I believe they like to call it. Just so it's like, it's simple, it's minimalist. In case you don't want my boys on your cover, here, enjoy my cyanotype that I love, because I just love cyanotypes. Then the interior is the exact same as the paperback, except it's a different size, which is why it's skinnier. So here's a little look at that. Here's a little close-up look at some chapter lengths. Here's... I'm gonna start the barcodes. First of all, why are they including the barcode under the dust jacket? And on the dust jacket, I put a little yellow box around it, because that's kind of my, my branding now for these books, and my books, and my Little Oaks Independent books which is the name of my, my little company that I've got going on. So that, that, that is not good branding. So here, here's my beauty, here's my sun. This copy, I think, this one doesn't have to go anywhere. I just got a proof copy to see if I've somehow fixed yet made worse my cover issue. So I think I'm gonna annotate one and use it for a giveaway if there's any interest in that, because obviously people love free books. And I love, I love sending my boy out to people because my pride and joy, obviously, even though it's my second child. I'll make my first child beautiful someday, but for now, this is my pride and joy. And while we're here, let's show off the pre-order goodies. I know some authors done like their own campaigns. I know Paper Fury sent out little goodies for Patreon subscribers. Emily Lloyd Jones did for people who pre-ordered the Drowned Woods, which is hidden behind here. And it's also like postcards, books, books, bookmarks, stickers, that kind of thing. So let's start off with least fun to most fun. This thing here is a little sticker. I'm gonna try and show it to you up close but it's gonna be blurry. The pattern around the outside is the the cover pattern and this will be a signed book plate so I'll put my little signature on it because I want to feel important and do signed books however signing the actual book itself is not reasonable. So here's a little signed sticker that I will send out and you can stick in your book. So I have an example of one. This is my beloved Emma book. Beloved Emma book. Emma's book, which was again printed by my lovely little Oaks Independent Publishing, my company. Here's the pink barcode box reference. Here's a bookmark that I just made myself. And again, it has like, it's got a fun inside. It's got a fun back. So I'm trying to like establish some branding things for company reasons. But a signed book plate is it's just a signed sticker to kind of create the illusion of a signed book. But my one has been designed so it matches my book branding because branding is apparently everything to me then if you pre-order you will get two bookmarks this one here has the my boys on the front and on the back or whichever size you want to be the front and back has a little welcome to the paper forest again with the book pattern here you can see a little bit le better in that kind of lighting because again i love bookmarks to match i love bookmarks to match my projects i'm and the Emily Lloyd Jones pre-order had bookmarks in, so now I have two bookmarks to match my books, and I love it. And then this bookmark is just the cyanotype on both sides. It's like a matte and shiny side. I think the shiny side is meant to be the front, in a sense. But yeah, here's this one. If you want a more subtle themed bookmark. And finally, the most exciting thing to me personally is this little card here. This is printed on recycled paper, which is why it's less vibrant and colourful than the other items. But it's a print of my boys and on the back we have a little author letter which here oh preview preview yep but it's cute it's fun i love i think it's all the owl crate 
the books in their boxes definitely do. I think they've started binding the letter in the book, but at least some of them used to come with a separate card with the cover and the author note on, and I love these. I love the handwriting, I love it being signed, even though it's a scanner sign. Because I love handwritten things, I hoard handwritten bits of paper. But they're, again, cute, I love it, it feels personal to the reader. And this is a quote that I, f a quote, this is like a little letter, something that I have spoken on social media before. But again, who knows what people have seen, who knows what they haven't. So here, here's it again in handwritten form, because this book is my heart. So here, have a letter from me. So there, here are my final copies. This, I have no idea how to fix this issue at this point, so we're going to think about it for a little longer. But here are the final copies. These are out for pre-order. The release date is August 17th. And if you pre-order before that date, you can submit your proof of order to the Google form, which I will leave a little link in the description or in my link tree in the description. And you can submit your proof of purchase and then I will send you some little goodies, a little gift to say thank you for supporting my son. But yes. Happy. I'm proud of this work. I'm so good. Yes, thank you for watching this video and I hope my son finds its home out in the world. I'll see you next time. Bye.